Hello my lovely Virgo. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are here today for a tarot love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and of course any of you lovely folks dealing with a Virgo romantically. So this is a timeless reading. Whenever you click into the video is when you're meant to hear the messages. Definitely keep in mind though it is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. Take what works and just leave the rest. Now before I jump in, I wanted to remind you that this is a very special Virgo-only channel. All that I do on this channel is readings for the sign of Virgo. So if this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking into this video. You are very welcome at our awesome community. Feel free to stick around, say hello, subscribe. I do post regularly for you guys about three to five times a week. So yeah, you are very welcome to join us. And for those of you who are returning, I love you. You guys are amazing. You're so awesome. And I hope that life is just going awesomely for you right now. All right, Virgo, we're going to jump in today. I'm going to start it out with the Spirit Animal Oracle. We're going to get some overall messages and then we're going to jump into the tarot. What do we got for Virgo today. What have we got for my lovely Virgos? First card out. I like it. Beaver spirit. And it says lay a solid foundation. Okay. So basically you're setting yourself up uh, for love. <laughs> you're laying your foundation when it comes to love, whatever that looks like for you. If you're a single Virgo, I think you're being encouraged to get really grounded and really clear on what it is that you want within your next relationship. And for those of you in a relationship, I feel like this is actually a really positive energy that's saying that the two of you are building, you're creating, you're dreaming of the future, and you're taking steps right now to really build that foundation to your relationship. There could even be some sort of significant step that's being taken in the relationship. Maybe you're moving in together, maybe you're you know, renting a place together, buying a place together, getting engaged, getting married, like something that really solidifies the foundation and the strength of your connection. What else have we got here for Virgo? What else have we got here for Virgo? <laughs> and then the Bobcat spirit. I like this one. Life is a mystery. So whenever this card shows up, Virgo, it always makes me think that something unexpected is gonna come into your life, okay? Because a mystery is something that we don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen. And so I think you should be prepared that there could be something unexpected happening. Um, maybe there's a mysterious person coming in, somebody new if you're a single Virgo. But I also just feel like there's gonna be an opportunity here related to your love life and something that you probably don't see coming. Okay, let's get one more of these and then we'll pull the tarot. Ooh, and then we got the hummingbird spirit that says be here now, okay? So basically, this is about living in the moment and looking at the opportunities that are here for you at this point in time, okay? I do think there's gonna be an opportunity coming in. And the reason that we have the hummingbird spirit, it's because you need to be able to take advantage of whatever that opportunity is. So you need to be present in the moment. All right, so that's what we've got from the spirit animal oracle. So let's actually dig into the tarot. I'm gonna be using the Mystic Monday tarot today. What have we got here for Virgo? What have we got for Virgo? Ooh, <laughs> first card out is the devil energy. Okay, we're gonna clarify that you guys. The devil energy, it really just depends like what other cards are around it, but it can represent something toxic or unhealthy in your life that you need to clear out. It can also just represent very strong desire between two people. So almost like this magnetic attraction and this pull. So let's see where this goes. We're gonna have to clarify to figure out what that is. What else is coming toward Virgo here? What else? The lovers. Okay, there could be some sort of choice or decision, all right? So you could be deciding, do I move in this direction? Do I move in that direction? It definitely looks like there is somebody here who's offering you love. Okay, what else? <laughs> and then the Queen of Cups. So we got Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It does look like there is somebody here who's very in love with you, right? Somebody who uh, I'm going to say very strongly desires you. They're very into you. Uh, maybe they're a little bit more into you, Virgo, than you are into them. But there's definitely this energy of somebody who is very deeply attracted to you and has very strong lust and desire for you, as well as a lot of emotions. Okay. So let's see where this goes. Tell me what this devil energy is, please, for Virgo. Nine of Swords. I think somebody's super into you and they're like a little bit anxious about it. And what I mean by that, Virgo, is that their feelings for you are so strong that it makes them nervous because like I intuitively picked up on the fact that maybe they're like really into you and they feel like you know, I don't want to say you're not into them. We're going to look at your energy in a little bit, Virgo, but they're really into you. So they just feel like a little bit anxious about the thought of um, losing you, I think. I don't know what's making me say that. Okay, what else? 
Page of Swords, yeah, they're coming in, they wanna talk, they wanna have a conversation here. You could be dealing with an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. I'm also, like, I'm just looking at this, guys, and I'm like, with that Page of Swords, maybe this is actually somebody from your past who's been keeping eyes on you. Because the Page of Swords can be a little bit of that um, spying energy, somebody keeping tabs on you. And now I'm almost wondering if maybe that devil energy is something toxic in your past, but this person is still feeling like they wanna connect with you, they're still keeping an eye on you. Maybe what they see here, because we've got the lovers and it's about moving in a different direction, you could actually have an ex here who sees you moving on and they're getting really anxious because they feel like they're missing their opportunity here to come in and make a move. Ooh, okay, what else? And then the Wheel of Fortune, yeah. So I do think that this is somebody who's actually just been keeping tabs on you. Somebody who's hoping that they can come in and have a conversation and that it can lead to a change in circumstances. I think you're moving in a different direction here though, because we do have the lovers following that devil energy. So I actually think you're moving away from this toxic energy and towards something that feels a lot more emotionally supportive there with the Queen of Cups, okay? So uh, tell me about this lover's energy, please, for Virgo, 10 of Wands, yeah releasing yourself from a situation that's felt emotionally heavy. I do think that um, the devil energy represents something toxic that you walked away from, a relationship where you felt like you were doing all the heavy lifting and you were carrying the burden of that relationship. You were the one who was putting in all the emotional effort and doing like basically all the work in the relationship and feeling like you didn't really have a partner who also contributed. So I think you're like, you're letting go of that stress and that um, heavy situation. Okay, what else? And then five of cups, yeah, okay. Yeah, so <laughs> definitely moving away from somebody here who disappointed you, Virgo, somebody who constantly let you down. And so, I mean, sure, they can come back into the picture and see if you wanna to talk to them, but um, I don't get the sense that you're interested in going backward is what I'm getting. You're not interested in going backward, okay? Somebody left a comment on one of my videos one time and it's always kind of stuck with me where they're like, when the ex comes knocking, just leave that door closed. And I was like, yeah, I like that. Okay, <laughs> what else? Yeah, three of cups. So here's the issue, you guys. I think that this past person put you in a third party situation and now they're coming back around. And honestly, I think the main reason they're coming back around is because they see you moving on. And that always makes me nervous because it gives me a little bit of that energy of somebody who's just trying to like claim their territory, somebody who's just kind of being um, almost competitive. Like they didn't want you when you were single, but now that they see you moving on, they wanna come in and like claim their territory and get you back. It's, to me, it can feel like somebody wanting to get you back for the wrong reasons, right? Somebody wanting to get you back because they just kind of wanna win instead of wanting to get you back because of um, genuinely wanting to be with you. And I also feel like with this person, they put you in a third party situation maybe more than once. And so they're coming back and you're like, I don't think so. Like you didn't demonstrate that you could be committed to me. You didn't demonstrate that you could be trustworthy. You didn't demonstrate that you were choosing me. And so there's a lot of like heavy energy surrounding this. And I just feel like a general sense of like annoyance that this person is coming back because you're just trying to move on, right? You're choosing to go in a different direction here. You're just like trying to move on with your life and they're still coming around, right? Okay, so tell me about this Queen of Cups, please. What is this Queen of Cups? <laughs> yeah, I love it. So we got the King and the Queen here. You're attracting in new energy, maybe an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Like I said, maybe a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But here's the thing, King of Pentacles, super stable, super reliable, somebody who you can count on, probably somebody who's wealthy, somebody who's got it all together, right? What else? <laughs> Six of Wands, yeah. Definitely um, gonna be success here. You're gonna be very happy with this outcome and how things play out for you, which is gonna be really beautiful. Oh my gosh, look what jumped out, you guys. <laughs> and then we got the 10 of cups, Virgo. So yeah, you're moving in a completely different direction. You're moving toward this beautiful queen of cups, king of cups energy, or um, sorry, king, queen of cups, king of pentacles energy, and you're getting your happily ever after, right? you're getting the person who's gonna love you and choose you and be with you. So that feels really good. Let's look more at this person. Tell me more about this new energy that's here for Virgo. <laughs> Page of Wands. We've also got Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. If this person is not already in your life, they're gonna be coming in, they're gonna be fun, they're gonna be flirty, they're gonna be vibing with you here, Virgo. I love that. I love when I see a transition like this where it's like just totally 
cutting out the BS with some sort of ex who didn't treat you well and then completely moving in the direction of somebody who just like cherishes you, okay? What else? Five of Pentacles. This might be somebody who has gone through their own breakup recently. I do think that this person has also walked away from a situation where they felt really um, abandoned and really alone. I also feel like the Five of Pentacles can represent that this person's maybe been single for a little while and they've been really desiring to be in a relationship and really wanting to be with somebody and realizing like they don't want to be alone anymore. They want companionship. They want love. And I think this person, I don't know why or how this is relevant, but I feel like this person may have been single for a while and was just kind of happy being single and then woke up one day and was like, I'm kind of lonely. I kind of want to be with somebody. Like I do want partnership. I do want companionship. And I think that's what they're looking for. What else? Yeah. Okay. So basically just confirming this person is definitely, you know, getting over a heartbreak themselves, um, getting through a situation that was really tough. So both of you, you know, I always say this when I see this, you know, energy of two people going through breakups, like um, just recognize that both of you could be coming into this feeling a little bit tender because you've both gone through some challenges. But I can see here that there's this very fun, exciting energy surrounding your connection. So it's all about moving forward. What is this person feeling? <laughs> Hi Priestess, they feel like you're part of their soul family. They're very deeply connected to you. Their intuition is like, yeah, go for it, go for it. What else? Good, Six of Pentacles. They're feeling like their life is coming back into balance. I think that with their ex, there's this sense that they were giving like so much more to the connection than their ex was. And so now they're feeling really ready for a balanced and reciprocal relationship. So they give to you, but you also give back to them within that connection. All right. What else is this person feeling? <laughs> page of cups ready to make you an offer of love like i said ready to move forward um i think they've got to the point where they've like processed enough of their breakup that they're ready to actually get back out there and start dating again and they want to start dating you so what actions are this person taking <laughs> there's such strong energy virgo of them coming in and making you an offer they really like this could be a gift like the pentacles energy can be like a tangible gift or item that they're giving to you which is really beautiful so they're offering you love maybe giving you some sort of gift some sort of surprise here <laughs> and they're hoping it's going to make you really happy they're hoping you're going to be really excited about this love offer they're trying to like make all your dreams come true um you know sometimes people comment on my videos and they're like this is like ridiculous this sounds like a fairy tale like but here's the thing here's my perspective love is amazing and i think we have all had those moments where we just feel really good and really happy so the nine of cups to me is like why would you not allow that why would you not allow yourself to be like this feels really good this feels really happy for me this feels like a huge blessing because there are those moments when it comes to love and yeah there's hard moments too but i i think we should embrace those really happy moments and those good moments as well okay because i don't think it's unrealistic i've had those for sure and they feel so good and yeah i've had tough moments too but that's just kind of what love is it has those ups and downs and it's about appreciating all the different experiences when it comes to love okay beautiful knight of pentacles earth energy so you could be dealing with another virgo or a taurus or a capricorn this person is really oh hold on hold on you guys i was gonna say something and then i remembered we have the beaver spirit this person is really trying to lay a solid foundation to your relationship, okay? So this is the energy of the Knight of Pentacles, somebody who's like slow and steady, uh, wins the race, let's take our time, let's get to know each other, let's really build something solid and really beautiful. And so this person is going to be very intentional with each of the steps that they take forward with you here, Virgo, okay? So let's look at you. Let's see what's going on for you, okay? Two of Swords. There is definitely a little part of you that's like, okay, am I ready to move forward, right? You may not have expected this love to come in. Your head might be telling you one thing, your heart might be telling you another, like, go for it. And then the other part of you is like, I don't know, are you ready? What else? <laughs> Knight of Wands, but you're definitely feeling the passion and chemistry. Like, one of the first things you're going to experience with this person is that spark and that magnetic attraction, okay? Oh, wow. And then King of Cups. Yeah, you're also feeling the emotion. So that's good. It's like there's the fire and the passion, but there's also that emotional intimacy between the two of you. That's really good. So what are you feeling? Strength. 
so much stronger after walking away from that past toxic situation, recognizing how strong you are, learning lessons, and giving yourself credit for everything that you've gone through. It has made you so much stronger. Nice, 10 of swords. Wrapping up that negative cycle and being like, yeah, I'm ready to like move forward with my life. I'm ready to leave that behind. What else? <laughs> 10 of pentacles ready to build a life with somebody ready to put a foundation down this like i love that the first message for you today said lay a solid foundation because i feel like there have been several cards within your reading now that have just really spoken to that theme of setting down roots with somebody and really building a beautiful future okay so what else what other uh what actions what actions are virgo taking the world wrapping up some uh past cycle and moving on to the new, okay? Could be traveling right now as well. What else? Four of Pentacles, letting go of the past, right? Really working to detach your energy from that past toxic situation. What else? Seven of Cups, yeah. Getting to a place where you're clear-headed about what you want moving forward. I do think that when we go through a situation where we have that devil kind of energy and somebody who kind of like uh, messes a little bit with our head and our emotions it can sometimes make us doubt ourselves a little bit and sometimes what i do see here is it can make us doubt our ability to choose a good partner right because let's say that somebody was toxic somebody was cheating somebody broke your trust when you leave that relationship, you might be like, you know, why didn't I see the red flags or why didn't I recognize it sooner? And sometimes it really kind of impacts our own ability to trust ourselves. And so you have this new love coming in and there might be part of you that's like, can I trust myself to pick a good partner? Is my picker broken, right? Like I've heard people say that, like I've had a couple of bad relationships. Does that mean that I just don't know how to pick a good partner? And then you might, you know, push people away if you're not sure. The way I look at that is that every relationship is a learning opportunity. And honestly, one of the big things I think, you know, to watch out for is sometimes we just, you know, we, we are with somebody and they, they do something that hurts us and it's not about us. You know, it's like they did that and it was just unfortunate that we happen to be with that person, but it's not a reflection on us. It's a reflection on their behavior and their choices. So I think you're starting to, um, or you're being encouraged here to move away from any sort of uncertainty about yourself and your ability to pick a good partner. I don't know. I feel like that's relevant for somebody out there to hear that. Okay. So let's see what the advice is here. <laughs> Four of wands. Yeah. Move toward the person you can lay a foundation with. I love that. What else? Okay. Good. Build your confidence back up with that emperor energy. Be confident and assured in who you are and what you want. What else? and then the tower card, right? So let what came crumbling down be done and create space for something brand new to come in, okay? Some of you may have recently broken up with um, this person. Oh, my kitty cat's here, she's gonna knock over my light. <laughs> um, some of you may have recently um, broken up with that devil energy. It maybe feels like things are really unstable right now. You're in a big phase of transition and change within your life. Um, and it's about really asking yourself with that tower energy, how do I rebuild? Um, what do I want moving forward and how do I take really healthy steps towards um, creating the life that I want and the love that I want, okay? <laughs> My cat's just like rolling on the ground looking at me. She's so cute. Um, all right, so what is the potential outcome here? What is the potential outcome? There we go. There we go, Virgo. <sighs> the fool, a brand new beginning in love, taking a leap of faith in love, okay? This is about out with the old, in with the new, brand new love, um, you know, putting yourself out of your comfort zone a little bit, uh, being courageous, being vulnerable, being open, which can sometimes be hard to do when we've come out of a tough situation. But um, I think there's somebody here who's really going to excite you, somebody who's really going to love you. And I feel like this is going to be a relationship where you're going to go on a lot of adventures, you're going to have a lot of fun together. And you're really just like starting that process of laying this beautiful foundation and really just like building an absolutely beautiful life together as the two of you um, move forward and really connect on this amazing journey um, between the two of you. So it's looking really, really good for you, Virgo. This is what I love to see for you guys. So I'm gonna uh, leave it there. <laughs> if you enjoyed this reading, please do give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Um, like I said, this is a newer channel here. So if you like it here, feel free to come back for future videos. But in the meantime, I wish you so much love and happiness. <laughs>
<laughs> my little kitty cat just meowed. Did you hear her? She was saying goodbye to you, Virgo. Um, so anyways, you know I love you guys. Take care, and we'll talk soon. Bye.